so E6000, I just learned, comes in colors. Um, this one is white. The stuff that I have is transparent. Um, I would prefer to use the transparent, um, because you don't really need anything else adding color to your doll. Also, if you can't tolerate the smell of the E6000, Gemtech works pretty well for this purpose as well. It's also waterproof, um, but this is definitely a better bond. Okay, like I said, I really dislike the smell of the glue, so hopefully um, my window, my open window, isn't creating too much noise. It's very windy outside. Um, but I won't be talking too much anyway, so hopefully you won't need to hear me. I'm gonna get some hand protection. Spinal draw up gloves, nitrile gloves, anything will work. All right, let's do this. Um, it's also good to have some napkins or paper towels handy. Uh, you can cover your workspace even with paper towels. It's so windy. Um, oh my gosh, things are getting blown over. <laughs> okay. This is where we start it. With the glue, you're going to draw a line halfway around the head. Um, before replacing your hair. Just going to make sure your hair is not tangled up and that you've got the right side of the weft ready to go. I'm gonna make sure the glue is, yep, it's not dried up. And start right here at the ear and glue a strip right over my marking. It is 15 mile per hour winds out there and I'm still not closing that window. I refuse to smell this stuff. Okay, so I made my line. Now I'm gonna very carefully place my hair. I'm gonna press it into that glue line and use the pin to hold it in place. So make sure these pins are not special to you in any way because you are going to get glue on them. Okay. Make sure you pull it nice and tight. And if you get glue on your hands, try not to transfer that to other parts of the doll. I think I'm actually going to lose the glove. Let's make sure I don't do that. Use a toothpick or a dowel to press the hair into the glue. If you glue some of the hair, it's okay. I actually like gluing just the very root of the hair because that reduces shedding. Nowadays, you can buy wefted hair that's made with like polyurethane. I haven't tried it, but I'm intrigued by the concept. But the goal is to minimize shedding. Okay. Okay. It's quite typical for your glue to keep oozing even after you've stopped using it. So I'm just going to wipe off that ooze and draw myself another line of glue across my markings. If you accidentally get glue where you don't want it, it's a clean Q-tip to wipe it back up. It's kind of stringy, like hot glue, so it's mostly the strings that are getting in my way. Okay, again, I'm going to carefully press the weft into that line of glue I just made. And match it back up to where I started. Okay, 
I'm gonna carefully press the hair into the glue. Oops. Try not to get glue on your baby's face. And I have to be extra careful because this is not even my baby, so. That would be bad. This as neatly and carefully as possible. And if you've got little globs, it doesn't even matter. As long as the globs aren't in the hairline. Okay, if you have a spot where you feel like it might go sliding around on you, um, you can add more pens. So make sure you have lots and lots of pens. Those are critical to the process. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking now and go ahead and finish gluing my way around. Okay, I'm going to keep talking. So, like I said, remember you want the webs to be right on top of each other from temple to temple across the top of the head and then start spacing it in the back so that you can see now more easily by my glue line.
I'm ready to glue my closure. So I've put my rounds on all the way up to roughly where those closure marks are. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my closure down so I can put the wefts over and around that area. So this thing has wefts. So I'm gonna actually apply the glue to the closure instead of to the doll. Get it on nice and good. You don't want it to pop off. An area that'll probably face a lot of strain given where it is. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and place it down. It's circular, so it doesn't really have a top, bottom, left, right to it, if you will. Okay, and because I put the glue on the wet, it shouldn't be pushing through my closure. There shouldn't be any sticky spots coming through on the hair. Okay. Go ahead and pin that into place. And now I can continue to glue around it. You can see what I'm doing now. I'm gonna try to hop right onto this mesh that's on the closure. I'm gonna do teeny sections as I'm gluing my way around here because I'm gonna make sure that I'm wrapping around appropriately and that the hair isn't sticking back up. Same here, so we've got this mesh. Gonna glue right over it. Some little pieces of hair too. Stick out of the bottom of the closure. Okay, and I'm gonna push it all the way up to where the hair starts on the closure. And I need lots and lots of pins to hold it down to the vinyl.
so what has happened is I'm flush to the cl bleh, can't talk, sorry. I am flush with the closure on the back, but I've still got space on the front. So that's all right. We're just going to piecemeal it on. So I'm going to end that wet. I'm going to make sure I've got some glue where it's going. And I'm going to go ahead and push that down. And pin it into place. Okay, so that bit is complete. Now I've got the space here that I need to fill. <clears throat> I'd rather not piecemeal if I can avoid it, but it's not a problem if you do. So I just need one piece to go across here. For the sake of uh, not making a mess, I'm going to go ahead and cut it to the length that I want. Up there. And I glue it real good. Really well. Grammar. So I'm going to glue the whole area that I'm trying to cover. I'm trying not to glue my pins, but you know, if you do glue them, it's fine. They're inexpensive. You can always buy more. Gonna put down the left end and pin it. Goodness, she's like sliding all over my table. Okay. I'm gonna take the right end, pat it down in place. And pin it. And it's kind of poking up here in the middle, so I'm going to pin it there too. Alrighty, and we have just finished gluing our wig. Once everything is pinned and glued, we're just going to very gently brush the hair down and into place. So I'm going to release my closure there. If you have tangles or globs of glue, don't try to work those out at this time. Because um, the goal is to let it dry and we'll work on manipulating it later. Just going to very gently brush it down all these luscious locks. Get a wig cap if you have one. If you don't, you can cut off a piece of hosiery. And people do this when they're rooting too. I'm gonna slide it down over the doll's head. Oh, that's the front of her head. I hadn't even noticed <laughs> over the doll's head. And allow to dry for a minimum of 24 hours. If you have a new wave oven, you can put it in there at 10% power. That'll speed up the drying process a little bit. That's 100 degrees. Um, so we're gonna let her dry. Come back next time and we're gonna cut and style this wig. Thank you for wig making with me and I will see you next time. <laughs>